While a great fan of all of the arts, two genres have occupied most of my life and times. Music, which everyone can relate to, but also a more esoteric one called astrophotography. As a child of the space age, I had a deep fascination with all things celestial and aeronautical by five years old, often getting out of bed at dawn to watch rocket launches on a black and white television. While pursuing music in Nashville, I returned to my boyhood love of astronomy. And what began as a hobby, taking photos of the deep sky, which includes galaxies, nebulae, and star clusters, became my career from 2005 to the present. Beginning with film cameras in 1999, I switched to digital astroimaging in 2003. In addition to photographing from dark skies in Tennessee, Pennsylvania, and West Virginia with my own equipment, I eventually imaged remotely from New Mexico. I've also had the privilege of using large, powerful telescopes under the darkest and clearest skies on Earth, including Chile's Atacama Desert. Today, I am a world-renowned imaging artist, teacher, and author on image processing, and my images and articles have been published in many magazines and books and online at websites such as NASA's Astronomy Picture of the Day. I've even gotten to lecture in Beijing and Guangzhou, China, and Linz, Austria. While one can acquire nice images with a commercial DSLR and a camera lens or small telescope, serious imagers use more powerful optics and dedicated astronomical cameras whose electronics are cooled for the long exposure times needed to reveal very distant and dim objects. In its most elaborate form, a camera with a monochromatic sensor is used to collect ancient photons through specialized red, green, blue, and clear filters. The amount of total exposure time can reach 50 hours or more gradually accumulating enough signal from individual 1 to 30 minute sub-exposures to create a beautiful work of art. As with the so-called Hubble palette, narrowband, sulfur-2, hydrogen alpha, and oxygen-3 filters are used to produce these striking false color images. In addition to my role as an artist and online educator on the discipline, I have, in years past, been a representative of or consultant to major astro equipment vendors such as Celestron, and I serve as the vendor liaison for the Advanced Imaging Conference held every two years in San Jose, California. The process of creating astro art from image data is very time consuming and requires meticulous attention to detail. While graphics programs like Adobe Photoshop may be used later in the workflow, specialized astronomical software must be employed in the early stages. The data must be calibrated with bias dark and flat frames, star aligned to one another, then digitally stacked into master files by filter. The masters are then combined to create a color image. Then begins scores of artistic decisions that must be made regarding noise reduction, contrast enhancement, sharpening of detail, adjusting and boosting color saturation, gradually creating a jaw-dropping photograph worthy of being hung on a wall. 
I was honored to have had three large-scale prints accepted and displayed at the first major exhibition of astrophotography called Starstruck, the Fine Art of Astrophotography, which traveled to several museums around the country. And my work was also carried by two exclusive Arizona galleries in Sedona and Old Town Scottsdale. I don't consider myself a true visual artist, at least on par with a fine painter or even a great landscape photographer. While there is certainly artful interpretation to what I do, I'm not capable of just picking up a pencil or paintbrush and creating magic on an empty canvas or piece of paper. I think that folks who can are the true artists. Still, I'm grateful for having had the opportunity to reveal the elusive and invisible wonders of the universe to my audience. Please visit my website at www.billionsandbillions.com and if you're interested in learning how to begin a hobby in astrophotography, feel free to drop me a line through one of my commercial websites.